my name is Miranda and today I'm here to review episode 5 of Class. This episode is basically a direct continuation of episode 4. It's weird that like there seems to be such a big gap between episodes 2 and 3 but then 4 and 5 take place like literally right after each other so it's weird I don't I don't know I guess I hope that's one thing that they can explain a little bit better if class does come back for season two is the timeline because I just don't get how like sometimes it's like we're in love and I'm like yelling known each other for two weeks what's going on then other times it's like by the way I haven't seen you in a month and I'm like where where does this come from so this episode did take like directly it took us to April and Ram in the shadow realm and I will say that Ram was a bit on his own for a while and that like annoys me because like I never understand why when it happens that like they both jump through the same portal at the same time basically like a couple seconds apart yet yeah, they seemed like a good like minute or two away from each other I don't get how April had such a lead on Ram but it was very interesting because this was definitely the first episode where we had kind of two storylines that ran somewhat together but were very distinct in feel so we had April and Ram in the Shadow Kingdom which was really April's thing and then Ram was just kind of there I think to back her up and also as a pawn as we later saw to kind of be used against her when she was fighting the Shadow King. And then we also had the story of the Flower Petals which again I think the Flower Petals may be one of my favorite monsters thus far just because it was so creepy and so unexpected you know to see something like so pretty and so wonderful but then like it just came literally out of nowhere. Like I like that like you saw a little of it in episode 4 and then it got more and more. And then episode 5 is when we finally started seeing like the people being like covered in flowers but bleeding like their whole faces had just been chewed off and it was just so like gruesome but gruesome in that really what is the word like macrobe way or something like that where like it's it, it's almost like it should be pretty because it's nice pretty flowers but like your face is chewed off so it's not as pretty. <laughs> and the whole storyline with that was that the governors wanted, and I feel like governors is such a British word, they wanted um, Charlie to be able to use the cabinet of souls to get rid of the flowers because you know they, they don't want earth to just be run over by these petals understandably so and Quill wants Charlie to use it to for the Shadowkin so there's like this two conflicting things and then Mateus doesn't want Charlie to use it at all because he's saying that that's genocide and who are who are you to decide that like one race deserves to die over another you know that one race is better than another and I really like that Mateus was kind of like the moral compass for Charlie at this point like I hated when what was her name Dorothea or whatever when she used uh, Mateus as a gambling piece for Charlie and she pointed her gun at him and was like I can't force you but I can force you through him and I was like you best back off lady because I am not here for this you get away from my tall Polish bean like don't even touch him so I was annoyed with that but then it also was cool how you kind of got to see the strength in their relationship and that Mateus was like I'm here for you, like, I will be your anchor, and Charlie was kind of like, no, you're not gonna want to be, like, I'm gonna lose you either way, so why should I do this? And I will say that it's just funny that I really do like them, but I feel like their chemistry isn't as, like, it does, it just doesn't seem as, like, organic as it does with other um, couples that I really like on screen. So like Evan and Isaac from Scom, for example, and Philip and Lucas from Eyewitness. They both had just such great natural chemistry that I feel like every single thing they said and did just felt so organic. Whereas I feel like sometimes Mateus and Charlie, it just seems more awkward. And I feel like part of that could be because, you know, like we only saw them introduced really in one episode and then in the next episode basically they were saying they love each other so it was a bit strange for that. I feel like it was nice to kind of get them to reaffirm it where Mateus was like I'm gonna protect you as much as you protect me that's what we do that's who we are and I did love that he was the one that knocked out the lady and was kind of like I don't like guns and then he's like never turn your back on an angry pole. I was like yes Mateus I just loved I loved how he kind of just rolls with this you know and how it's just completely up in the air you know like you're dating a prince basically and an alien at that and he just kind of goes with it and does his thing and is a lovable goofball and I absolutely love love him and I love that he was kind of used even as much as it hurts to see him used as a bargaining piece it's nice to know that like Charlie cares about him that much that he could be used as a bargaining piece so like that was really cool and then um and then speaking of relationships we also had April and Ram kind of develop theirs they had like that weird conversation I don't know the whole thing in the shadow realm was weird for me because I felt like at parts the girl who plays at April kind of overacted it a little bit like it just annoyed me especially when she was fighting the shadow king and the dialogue felt a bit weird like it felt like 
stilted but then also rushed and like some things just didn't like they seem just to put them in just to make the audience laugh or like be like oh this show is so witty blah blah, blah. and like it feels more witty when you're like not intentionally putting those things in you know they're like thinking oh they're gonna think we're so witty like just be witty don't be like we want them to think we're witty one example of that would be the whole conversation between april and ram about like don't say you love me like that would have been fine had you just left it at that and he would have been like i wasn't gonna say that i've only known you for a month like that would have been fine to leave it out but then they went into this whole thing about she's like you were gonna say it. i know you were and blah 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 and i was just like why is this going on for so long because i do like them together i think they're really cute together but it would have been fine to just leave it at that and then I don't, I don't know, it was just very strange all the dialogue that happened in April getting those powers but then le losing them like within five minutes. It was really cool I will say to see her dad be the one that kind of stopped her from killing the Shadow King even though I will say that like that's one of my biggest pet peeves and stuff sometimes is when like everyone's like to the hero don't do this you're a good person but it's like if you kill that bitch like it's one and done like your whole like the rest of the season would probably be like moot if she had killed that guy because I swear the Shadow King is going to come back. I mean he already basically is coming back stronger than ever and now he knows where she is. He's not going to forget that. So I feel like it was just kind of annoying in that like yes she's a good person, yes she's strong but at the same time had she killed the Shadow King we could have avoided a whole lot of mess. Even though she probably would have died actually now that I think about it because their hearts are connected. So maybe it was a good thing that dad talked her down through it. But I did like what he was saying that he was like you don't want to be me. You're stronger than this. You you unfortunately saw at a young age that the world wasn't safe and rather than like accepting that and just being turning into the dad she decided she was going to be stronger she was going to be better than that so it was really nice to kind of see that reaffirming moment before she told him to leave I don't know if he'll be back I feel like potentially he could but only like if he's being used by the shadow king against her is the only way I could see him coming back this season at least. Other than that I don't know what's going to happen from now on because I feel like April obviously had control of the shadow king and the kin for a while but now she seems to have lost that so there's always the threat now of the invasion because they do know where they are and they could easily come for them and then what's also interesting to me the governors were learning a bit more about them and I I don't know. I really don't know where I stand on them right now. As of now, I feel like they're not good guys just because that lady was like, she was threatening Mateus and Charlie, but you know what? Like, it was to save the whole planet. So I kind of understand that, but then at the same time, it was a little sketchy at the end when she was like, oh, now we know so much more about the Cabinet of Souls and so much more about young Charlie and stuff like that. And it just seems like there's a greater scheme to their, to their plan. Like, if you just want to protect Earth, cool, fine with that. But I'm wondering if they want more power than they already have. Like if they want, like what do they want more with Charlie? I feel like that's my thing, that there's something, Charlie has to be a bigger play for the governor to go, for the governors to go this far out and try and lure him out using Quill. So that'll be really interesting, especially if she gets that thing out of her brain. If she gets that thing out of her brain, I can't even imagine what she's going to do to Charlie because we already saw her slap him, which deservedly, he he did deserve that, I will admit, like, honestly. And I loved how protective Mateus got after that, but, like, Charlie did deserve a slap and after he, the way he was acting in the last episode and a little on this episode, too, because I feel like, you know, we did have a good scene with Quill where she kind of just got all her frustration out and she was like... I'm your slave like and he's like I don't call you that only you call yourself that and she's like that's basically what I am like just because you know a rose by any other name is still a rose so it's interesting I think now that I hope that like Charlie sees how much she's hurting and how much she truly did lose because even though they were on opposite sides I think they have to both realize that that world where they were on opposite sides doesn't exist anymore. So it'll be really interesting to see where that goes and where the governors go, if they'll be like the overarching ones or how they'll help with the Shadowkin or not help because they obviously were more concerned with the petals than the Shadowkin, which I guess makes sense, you know, like more pressing concern over the other one. But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I think now that we've gone through Ram, April, and Tanya, Charlie or Mateus deserves like an episode about them soon. So we'll see if that's coming up. But yeah, if you've seen the episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also make sure Sure, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below to be able to make all sorts of new videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!